Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to another video. We're here in Scottsdale, Arizona for the 2018 Gateway Harley Davidson Team Camp. Started the team camp off, as you probably saw in my last couple of videos, uh, we raced the Valley of Sun stage race, which meant we had to build all our new team bikes and get those up and running before the racing began. So that was the first half of camp. And after the racing, we spent four days at Psychologic with 10 of us, 10 riders all getting custom bike fits by the best bike fitters in the world. So that was a great experience and a, a really good way to kick off camp. After the bike fits were done, we met up with Snowy Mountain, Nate and Morley. This is our second year working with them. They do amazing work and did a bunch of team photos. The things we do for the perfect shot. In the middle of nowhere, they spent multiple hours uh, reconning some cool spots that they thought would be uh, good for some team photos. And they, they always pull through and do really amazing work for the team. So it's really cool to have them on board. As a lot of this camp wasn't really towards riding, it was more so getting to know everyone and kind of doing a lot of social media stuff. And when we weren't doing that, we ate a lot. It's a pretty awesome team camp. You get fed like a king for every meal. And it's a good way to break up eating just rice and oatmeal. So definitely uh, well-deserved and really appreciated. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. We even had a birthday, it was Brett's 25th birthday, so we got to have some fun celebrating that. As you can tell, he's really, really excited here in this video. And what do you know, we're back at Psychologic. This year, we teamed up with Psychologic and Bob Roll to do our 2018 team launch. And there was over 100 people at the event. They sold out, uh, you had to actually get tickets to get in and they sold out rather quickly and it was a great way to introduce the the new roster to the public and have somebody like and to have somebody like Bob do it was a pretty amazing experience and super grateful for that that psychologic and Bob could pull through with with all that stuff without further ado I would like to introduce the one the only Mr. Bob Roll <laughs> And here's Bob telling some stories about what it was like for him racing and how he got into racing as well um, before doing the one-on-one -on -one interviews with each rider to introduce them to the public, so. Thank you, Mark. I wanna thank you all for coming tonight. Again, my name is Chris Freed from the David Harley Davidson Trek team. Raffle is actually one from Brian Gomez from last year that he rode to many wins, a whole bunch of fourth places that he got really, really <laughs> mad about. But he now rides for the- It was really cool, our team, we were able to donate one of our Trek bikes to raise money for Tour de Cure. Matt Zimmer, ladies and gentlemen, what's going? Here I am up there with Bob Roll doing my individual interview with him. And he's kind of just asking us how we got into racing, what our ambitions were, uh, and just kind of general questions to help the audience and our fans get to know us as riders individually, uh, as well as get to know the team a lot better and make it a more personal experience. Put together. Thanks everybody for coming out. And Best of luck to Gateway, Harley Davidson, Trek, Bird. Right. Here we are the next morning, it's Saturday morning, the last weekend of camp, and we're heading to the start of the Tour de Cure charity ride, which coincided with our team launch and having Bob there, as that's what all the money uh, from our team bike was going towards. So we're just getting there a little early. We were the guest riders along with Bob that were leading the ride. It was a 35 mile ride through Scottsdale and the turnout was awesome. Uh, they didn't know what the turnout was gonna be like cause it was a little cold for, for Arizona. It was cold, it was like 45 degrees. So 
but really great experience fun to ride with a lot of people that came to the team launch to help support us and get to know us so it was a kind of a nice ending day to team camp and Bob's doing the raffle to see who won the Trek Amanda, our team bike from last year. And it was kind of a letdown. The guy wasn't actually there that ended up winning. So uh, a little anticlimactic, but I'm glad the guy won. I hope he enjoys it. Each night, uh, a couple riders would meet with the team staff to go over goals and race races they wanted to target for next year. And the staff would kind of figure out which race kind of help decide the race schedule and get ever, get all the riders and staff on the same page for the season. Back to the garage for some more photos. These are doing our individual headshots and doing some cool sponsorship picks with uh, some of the gear. It's always fun to pretend to be a model, even if you are wearing spandex in front of a camera. Yeah, same pose. You were good, the lighting is a little bit long. It's a Superman pose, they called it, which turned out cool. Here I am with the Haribel Wipes, a new sponsor for 2018. Their gear wipes help clean bikes, and you can even use them on yourself after races to help clean up. So they do a great job. We also had Sue from Bike Flights come down and they were writing a blog for uh, Bike Flights website and they're a new partner to the team for 2018 and uh, it's awesome that they believe in the program and were able to come on board and help us ship our bikes basically everywhere we need to go as just going to team camp I think we sent like 35 different boxes of bikes and gear and stuff to camp so we're really happy and excited to have them on board for 2018 and we hope we can continue the partnership into the future. So the last day of camp, this was actually after Tour de Cure. We were all finally able to ride together since everyone's bike fits were done and we had the rest of the day to go ride to this observatory out in the middle of nowhere on this gravel road. Climb on Pond 2. Stage 7 of the Gateway Team Camp. And we're out here on the gravel road. And we're just out here having some fun, enjoying the company before everyone heads home because some of the guys won't see for a month or two, depending on what races and uh, the rosters for each race. So it's a great team camp. Kind of sad it's over, but really excited to get back to racing with these guys and hope we can bring it for 2018.